Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my bathroom. Apologies that it's been such a long time since I've filmed a video. It's just not been at the forefront of my mind to film YouTube videos, but I'm kind of inspired and motivated to start filming a couple now, so um, yeah, that's that. Also, apologies if it's already echoey in here, I can kind of hear it and I hope that that's not an issue. Today I'm going to be filming um, just a chilled get ready with me, I'll share an updated kind of skincare routine, um, the makeup I've been loving at the moment and then also I wanted to share just the products I've been using to fake tan because I've had a question about um, my fake tan routine. I don't really have a fake tan routine because I don't know, I'm just, I don't do it that often um, but when I do it, these are the products that I use so I'll be sharing that with you and yeah. That's it really, I've got my cup of coffee, um, which I shall be sipping on along the way. And suggest you do the same, grab yourself a nice drink, grab yourself whatever you're in the mood for, and we'll get this party going. So why don't I start off with the fake tan products that I've been using. Um, I mean, I say that I've been using, I've literally been using these products for the longest time. I've just realized, I've forgotten one, BRB, she back. So the general fake tan that I use is the classic St. Moritz dark tanning mousse. Sorry about the bottle, that is absolutely disgusting. Um, so that's one that I use majority of the time, just with a fake tan mitt. Um, but the other one that I really love is the Suzanne Jackson. Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Medium Mousse. I think I just couldn't get it in dark, otherwise I would have. Um, so yeah, I love this. Someone at work recommended this brand to me and I absolutely love it. I also use a product on my face from this brand. Um, but yeah, this is empty at the moment. So I've been back on my St. Moritz, which I love just as much, to be honest with you. Um, probably this, the, this one, it's, it's better quality, um, it's a slightly nicer colour, um, but St. Moritz, you know, you just can't go wrong when it's, what is it, 4 99 Do you know what I mean? I will just mention that I love using this pre-tan, um, which is the Vaseline Intensive Care Essential Healing Non-Greasy Lotion. Um, it's kind of in between a super light moisturiser and a super rich moisturiser, it's just the perfect like pre-tan moisturiser. Um, but I would let it sink in for like five minutes before you apply a tan because otherwise it's going to be a slippery slope, if you get what I'm saying. So the final product that I use is on my face. So I use the same brand as the other one. So it's the Suzanne Jackson Dripping Gold Wonder Water Hello Tan Filter Self Tanning Face Mist in Light to Medium. It's a mouthful. That's what it looks like. Um, and it just comes in like a little spray bottle. And then, so basically I will... Um, moisturize my face first with something like this the CeraVe moisturizing cream just a nice thick moisturizing cream and then I will spray this on my face like all over my like face and neck area and then I'll go in with this brush just a really fluffy like synthetic brush and just buff it in all over the face and down the neck and across the chest and really make sure to get it into my hairline so that's what I do to my face. If I don't use this, I'll use the Ombre Solaire Garnier, uh, the mist, the aerosol mist, but I haven't, uh, I haven't bought that in ages um, because this has lasted me a really long time and I'm only down to there. So yeah, when I finish this, I'll probably repurchase this to be honest. So those are the products that I use to fake tan. I hope that was helpful. I've had a lot of questions in the past, but um, someone recently commented on a video and asked for a fake tan routine. So I thought I'd just pop it into this video. So let's get on with the get ready with me. So I'm just gonna clip my hair back. I actually curled it this morning. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, you're just gonna have to deal with that, I'm afraid. So I've actually been really investing into skincare or not investing, but like buying more skincare um, at the moment because obviously lockdown, um, haven't been wearing much makeup and just kind of thought it's the perfect opportunity to get my skin in shape, um, which I think it is at the moment. I've got a few little blemishes here and there, but it's 
thing on the side of my nose, God knows where that came from, but um, we move. So I've already cleansed my face this morning with the La Roche-Posay Epiclar Duo Plus, I think it is, cleanser. Uh, actually, no, it's not the Duo Plus, it's just the Epiclar cleanser, um, gel cleanser. Did that this morning, and then I just put a little bit of the Duo Plus cream on after that. But since then I haven't done anything, so I'm gonna just go straight in with moisturizer rather than doing all the cleansing toning vibes. Um, actually, I might go with serum first. So serum wise, I really wanna shout out this brand. They are called Nourish London, and I'm absolutely loving their stuff. So I have a few of their things. I'll just quickly share. Um, so I have their Radiance Rejuvenating Peptide Serum and then the matching moisturizer that goes with that. And then I also have the Probiotic Multi-Mineral Repair, wow, Multi-Mineral Repair Mask which comes in like a little pumpy pump. I absolutely adore this, these products and this brand. Like I think, um, I think their products are amazing and I really do see a difference when I use them on my skin. So I definitely recommend them. Massive shout out. Um, I actually want a giveaway from them, which is amazing. Um, so that was fun. So yeah, I'm gonna use their peptide serum today. Just a little bit on the hand. Straight in. God, it feels weird doing this on camera again. So then in terms of moisturizer, there's a few that I love at the moment. Um, oh, also I forgot to shout out the serum from The Ordinary. This is um, the Marine Hyaluronics Serum. This is also really, really good and I've been loving that. Um, cool, my mind is all over the place, can you tell? Anyway, so in terms of moisturizer, um, the one that I just showed you, love that. That is fantastic. I also love the CeraVe one that I showed at the beginning. Um, Pre-fake tan. And also just if I'm feeling a bit dry. Um, and then another one that I love is the Ole Henriksen Searush Brightening Gel Cream. This is fantastic. This just makes you look like you're glowing from within. So I love that. I might actually use that today. Um, I think that's all my moisturizers. The only other thing to share is this Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water, Glacier Water. Um, I absolutely love this for overnight, but yeah, we're not uh, we're not sleeping just now, so we'll be using that. Cool, so I'm gonna go in with the Ole Henriksen one today. I love this stuff. nice amount on, get that crusty face moisturised. Okay, so we're all creamed up. Jesus, sorry, I know that's so loud. Excuse me. So last thing to apply is lip balm. The one I've been loving at the moment is the Dr. Hauschka lip balm. Looks like this, just comes in a little pot. Um, my friend Lauren actually sent this to me. I freaking love it. Um, it's so nice. So just applying a liberal amount of that before we get started. Perfect, so let's move on to the makeup. So the makeup that I've been wearing throughout this period is, you know, it's that quick makeup that if I have to jump on a call <laughs> on camera um, for work or for family or whoever, um, this is the makeup I quickly shove on. So um, yeah, it's not anything major, but it does perfect the skin to a decent degree. So first things first is primer. I love the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. This is beautiful, sits really well on top of the um, Z Rush Gel Cream. Um, and then I also love the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer which is silicone free, which I really love. Feels like silk, but silicone free. Um, so I kind of like to use both of these for different things. So this one I apply kind of all over, kind of on the outer portion of the face. I always forget to go upwards when I'm like putting creams on my face. I have a saggy old face. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm popping a little bit of the Laura Mercier one. 
kind of more central. It's just going to blur those pores nicely. To be honest, if I'm jumping on a call, um, let's be real, I'm not putting primer on my face, I'm just slapping on that, um, that base. So um, this is an extra added step, but um, I would definitely do this if I was going to be seen in person. So the next thing is the base. So I've been, I think I used this in my previous video. Um, I've been absolutely loving this. This is a Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in the colour G9. I love that stuff. But today I'm going to go with just a classic. Um, oh wow, that's really rubbed off. She's been loved. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, in I think it's number oh, number four medium. So I'm gonna use that. Sorry if the light keeps changing, guys. Um, I'm just at my bathroom window, so the sun keeps hiding. Cool. So this is just gonna literally apply a filter to my face before your eyes, which we love. Just using a real techniques brush to blend that in. Like this just does the bloody trick. This is the product I've been waiting for my whole life. Um, so shout out to my friend Tasha who turned me onto this because this is a dream product for me. Cool, so the next thing is concealer. So I'm using my trusty Maybelline Fit Me concealer underneath my eyes. Bloody love this stuff. This one's pretty dry. Um, she needs a, a new one. I'm just going to use a sponge to blend that in. Cool. I'm not really worried about putting concealer on like blemishes that I have at the moment. I'm just going to let them run, run free. Cool. So then let's go in with some powder. I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte, is it? That's rubbed off as well. So I think it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent on a just a fluffy brush. And I kind of pat that through the centre of the skin mainly. Well, now I'm going to take the Maybelline City Bronzer in Medium Warm and just take a brush like this. This is such a cute little unicorn brush. Now I'm gonna, oh, whew. Now I'm gonna go in with the Illamasqua Beyond Powder in Epic, which is like an, a cross between a blush and a highlighter. Um, exactly how I use it and it's great because it's just one product that I have to worry about. So I just pop it on the apples and then drag it kind of upwards to where you would put your highlight of just a little glow from within vibe which is literally my vibe. The next thing I will do is brow gel. So this is the Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Gel Mascara in, oh dear, it's rubbed off. Oh, medium brown. I think it says medium brown. I just run that through my brows real quick. I literally haven't filled my brows in properly in God knows how long. So we are down to the final couple of products. So I'm going to curl my eyelashes first. I'm pinching my eyelid. These are the Shea Mirror eyelash colours that I've used for literally years. Um, I should probably think about getting some new ones. And they're literally like the first thing I bought when I um, finished my makeup course. Um, they're the first thing that I bought and so they're kind of, I'll probably still keep them even if, um, even if I upgrade. Okay, and then going in with the, literally, I don't think I've used anything else for the past few years. Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This is the waterproof one. 
I've just been applying like the tiniest amount of mascara recently. I just think I want people to think they're her lashes, um, but they're just super thick and black. Do you know what I mean? Like she's not even wearing mascara type vibe. I mean, you can definitely tell that I am, but you know what I mean. So final face product is this e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. Love this. It's really nice. Um, I do find it very dewy though, so sometimes I go back and powder just the center of my face, but yeah. <sighs> it smells sensational. You should just let that dry. Sometimes it is a bit too dewy on my chin and around my nose. So I will just go back in and powder that with the Rimmel. The final product is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I was basically looking for a dupe for the Rihanna Fenty Gloss Bombs, I think they're called. Um, and this kind of does the trick. Um, so I'll pop some of that on. Beautiful. She's stunning. <laughs> Not me, by the way, I'm in a lip gloss. So there we have kind of just an updated skincare and makeup routine, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd really love some feedback. I'd love to hear what you guys want to see. Um, and yeah, just uh, let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll see you in a video soon.